That's right, David. And if you haven't seen this story yet this morning, you need to stop what you're doing and take a look. The images will stun you. Up to 50 people are reportedly showing up to the tent city each week. Many of them have lost their jobs and consequently their homes. NBC's Michael Oku joins me now live from Burbank. Uh, Michael, you know, a lot of people commenting on this on Twitter to us this morning. Uh, Jane Co. wrote that she saw this this morning. She said it's very sad and an upsetting state of this country's affairs. I know a lot of people who are going to watch your report right now are going to be surprised by what they see in here. Oh, they're certainly going to be surprised if they haven't seen these images before, Monica. I mean, it is awfully bad, and there's no sign that it's getting better anytime soon. And there's a terrible irony in all of this. About a century and a half ago, this area around Sacramento was basically the center of the gold rush. Prospectors pitching their tents along the banks of the American River in order to strike it rich. And today what we see is regular Americans pitching their tents, sometimes in the shadows of downtown Sacramento skyscrapers, in the hopes of of basically buying more time or simply because they just don't have any other choice. The shelters in and around the town are absolutely overflowing with people. Uh, we understand from authorities that there's some 1,500 or so uh, people living in these 10 cities, and as you mentioned, with 50 newcomers joining them essentially every single week. The images, as we look at this, people making their lunch or their dinners are absolutely striking. What you're seeing, for the most part, are regular middle-class Americans, many of them who had lived from paycheck to paycheck, down on their luck when they lost their job, and then their car, and then their home, a pattern that we have seen repeated across the country. And many of them now living in these shanty towns that are reminiscent, as you can imagine, of what we, we saw, at least the images we saw from the Great Depression. NBC was able to talk to some of these folks who were living without any electricity, no running water. A bottle of water for many of these people is about uh, an, a mile and a half uh, by walking uh, at the local convenience store at, uh, or at the gas station. And many of these folks worked in the construction business. They're tile setters or truck drivers. And as you know, that business has completely dried up. So with one in 10 out of every Californian out of work right now and the foreclosure rate still skyrocketing, you, you have to wonder how many more people are going to make the decision that they're going to have to resort to living in conditions like this, Monica. Yeah, absolutely. Well, startling images, but important to see. Michael Opu, thank you so much. And what we're being told, of course, is that these are the same kinds of images uh, that we saw during the Great Depression. People basically living in these tent cities, these shanty towns with no electricity and no running water. It's pretty devastating to suddenly go move into a tent and... You have to learn a lot of new things. It's kind of like being in the frontier days, you know, everything is hard. I'm not a crook.